try it. Now let's create our controllers. I'm going to go back to animation, pull up my controller pop up. I'm going to go to prisms, I'm going to use a hexagon. I'm going to group this. I'm going to rename the group to thigh con null. Side view, I'm going to match this up in the side view. Now it's like the actual controller, I'm going to rename this to thigh con. And I'm going to scale with this one. Move this up and down. D, V, I snap this. If I need to fix my uh, rotation again, I have to make sure I select the null and I rotate only on the null. DV, resnap that. With the normal controller selected, I'm just going to go modify freeze transforms. Never freeze transforms to your null, just your actual object. So I'm create another hexagon now. I'm going to group that. I'm going to call this knee con null. I'm going to move this one. Do the same idea. I'm going to rotate this. Now I'm going to select the actual controller. It's going to be knee con. Scale this up. Notice I'm scaling the actual controller, not the null. D, V, snap, modify, freeze transforms. Now I'm going to create the other controllers for the feet. Use a cube now. Group. Scale this up. Select my actual uh, controller now. I'm going to scale this out. Move it up and down. Match it just right. At this point, you can actually change your shape. If you don't like your object being angled like this, I can go in right now and just move some of these around to make it match a shape I like more. Notice when I go back, the rotation is still proper. Select the actual controller. I'm call this ankle con. Press up. Ankle con null. I'm going to freeze transforms to the actual controller. Freeze transforms. Then I'm going to use another cube. Group that too. I should only need to do a group because uh, there's no rotation on this. So I'll just do a cube. Just place the cube where I want it to be. There goes the cube. Move its pivot. I need to move this thing's pivot too. Here goes the foot. I can also change this shape if I wanted to. Something different. Modify freeze transforms. I'll rename this to ball con. The reason I don't have to worry about making a group is because there's no angle to my rotation. It's completely flat. If yours did have an angle, then you would want to do that. So here's our actual controller. What I need to do now is I want to parent everything, or I can reshape any of these if I want to. Sometimes I like doing that just to make it look you know, nice and more pretty. So let's say if I can just do something like this, move this back down here, possibly move this at a different angle. Scale it up. Do the same with these. This way it just matches your model just a little bit better.
now to parent these properly. I'm going to go to wi uh, Windows, Hypergraph Hierarchy. To parent these, here's the ball. I'm going to pick the ball and dra drop it underneath the ankle con. To the ankle con null and drop that underneath the knee con. And the knee con null underneath the thigh con. That way when I rotate all these, they rotate properly. History. I'm going to file save scene as. There we go. Alright, let's have these things actually control the FK though. So I'm going to go window, hypergraph hierarchy, so I can select the FK better. I'm going to select thigh con, then I'm going to find the FK thigh. So here's the FK thigh. Constrain orient, options. Turn on maintain offset, apply. So now I'm going to grab the knee, the FK knee, apply, ankle, FK ankle, apply, ball, FK ball, apply. Always test if it works, just rotate your controller, and there it goes, it's working. Now let's create another controller, special, I'm going to use a nail. Rotate the nail this time on this side. So let's make this 0, 90, 180. Just going to take the text out real quick too. Let's make this a bit larger. Create text. FK IK okay, Let's type the IK properly Scale these up slightly I'm going to go inside here, inside my hypergraph hierarchy. I don't like how it's by default how these are set, so I'm going to drop them into their parent and kill off these two. Don't need those anymore. This way we have our actual groups that control it a bit better. There we go. I'll take the two of these, these groups, and parent them to this controller here, P. So now I'm going to select this and move that. Now I'm going to snap this where I want it to go. See right there, and I want to move the FKIK tags. I can just up, move this across, up, move this across. Feel free to make any adjustments you want on any of these. I'll call this IK FK switch con. I'm going to edit add attribute. It's going to have the IK FK blend from 0 until 10 default 0 add. So we go we have this. But I want to make sure that this follows the uh, ankle around. So I'm going to freeze transforms real quick. Back to my hierarchy. Now I'm going to look for my actual uh, Thought, uh, my actual ankle. So here's ankle. Shift click IKFK switch. Strain point. Apply. So what that does is now when I move this around, that always stays with my real ankle. All right here comes the fun part. We're going to go through now and do a set driven key. So I'm going to animate set driven key set. And I'm going to load this switch as my driver. And for my driven, I must select all of these controllers. 